greetings um, Pisces and welcome. I hope all of my watery Pisces are doing wonderfully well today and we have some Pisces moon energy coming up this month so that's very exciting for Pisces. And uh, look what is at the bottom of the deck, the moon. Uh, and that is a Cancer energy, uh, Pisces Cancer. And so let's see what it is the cards have for this um, week of the um, September 16th through the 23rd. And you come into the reading with balanced um, energy. You're uh, feeling that stabi stability around your wealth, around what you're working on. And you're very focused on money, on what you're working on at your career, of developing that sense of, of base, of wealth. Uh, but also there could be some sense of being very uh, possessive of your money, or someone could be just energetically possessive of you, uh, Pisces. And what is challenging or helping that is another four, uh, the four of um, cups. Well, there is this uh, offering coming um, to uh, move maybe out of something that you're very uh, stable at. Uh, um, feeling very secure in. Uh, you have the, your money, you have what you like to do. You're feeling pretty much in a routine. Um, and you might be kind of possessive of yourself and your time. And so you're kind of looking over, well, do I want to get out of that uh, a sense of security? Um, or um, am I just going to be closed off and keep reflecting on, meditating on uh, what's been kind of disappointing? or what's been uh, possessing me. Uh, but there's an offer coming in uh, that uh, could um, be a gift to move out, to be more celebratory in your life, to maybe live the, your better life, your best life. Uh, and that's coming because the moon, well, we saw that in the pre-shuffle at the foundation, but the moon is here. It's wanting to say Pisces, and you are very much about the moon, um, that there is this um, energy of evolution. You're coming up out of something that you might not have ever seen or, or not known about or not been conscious of or aware of um, emotionally, something that is bringing up some fear, but also a feeling that you're on your path now and you're moving through these two pillars toward uh, this new destiny toward uh, some kind of awareness um, that you're needing to get more information on because things are in fluctuation. This is not a time, Pisces, to make a decision. Uh, it's a time to uh, be with your dreams, your intuition, get insight, um, and also use your psychic abilities. Uh, but you could be in that realm uh, feeling very kind of possessive of stability and it's because you don't want to be emotionally maybe upset. But you're going to get information, spy, use your mind, study about uh, this um, clarity you need to get. Uh, there could be secrets um, that maybe you're keeping um, at the foundation uh, that maybe in the recent past you have wanted to understand more. Why am I keeping these secrets? Why am I uh, closed off and apathetic uh, to or maybe bored with uh, structure and stability and you're ready uh, to um, change but things are unclear as to how you're going to get clarity on uh, what you want to do with this um, opportunity. And uh, you could be spying in the recent past or someone could be a uh, spying on you the page um, or court card so that could mean somebody younger than you a child or somebody that you're dealing with at work um, but you're coming up with another page Pisces uh, so you're going from getting information about what it is you're feeling uh, that you want to gain security on something about your work your wealth, your investments, but also about your feelings and your relationships. So trying to balance those out um, and to 
have this new offer come in, but you might not know how to take that because of the moon um, is creating shadows. Uh, things are, uh, can be uh, illusory in the moonlight, but you're gonna be smart and um, get information, study, maybe take a course. Uh, maybe you could be involved in um, psychic studies, tarot reading, divination, and you're gonna uh, now get information. You're young at this, you're new at this, Pisces, and you wanna take it out there, uh, instigate something new. And you're going to with a lot of passion because that's gonna lead you, Pisces, to your Nine of Cups, uh, to moving out of the doldrums and um, finding um, a sense of real balance and stability in happiness, in fulfillment, in harmony with others. Just feeling like a wish came true. And uh, what is coming as you see this Four of Pentacles, how are you looking at your uh, situation, your stability, what you've worked on, your money, um, your career in interest? Uh, well, you've got, <clears throat> uh, wow, well, you have the, <laughs> You have the King of Wands, uh, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. But what's hiding behind that, a passion, your leadership, your uh, entrepreneurial energy is the devil. And that could be what you're needing to get clarity on, more information, something could uh, be held secret about uh, this sense of, um, how you're seeing your material wealth. You're feeling like maybe you're too focused on money. Maybe you're too focused on your uh, financial or uh, worldly issues. Uh, and you need to bring more of a, a leadership, charismatic energy to um, what it is that you don't know about, that's unclear, that's frightening, uh, that is um, fluctuating emotionally for you. But that is coming because you are also receiving uh, the Ace of Cups from your environment. And this is a very Piscean, a Scorpio, uh, Cancer energy, and it's descending. Once you get clarity and a secret is revealed about something uh, toxic uh, in your environment, and it could have related to either a Capricorn or to uh, some fire energy. But you're going to be uh, getting clarity now on this because you're going to use your intuition. And this um, new love is coming in. It's going to bring you a lot of satisfaction, a sensual pleasures, enjoyment, and just life itself. And that's coming with the King of Cups because you're going to have deep um, emotional understanding about what this love offer means. Uh, that's uh, the ace and then the king, that's the full uh, suit of water, of feelings, of emotion, of what makes you feel good, what makes you feel loved. And uh, that is coming because the um, sense of the <clears throat> hope and fear is... Uh, that you'll have to stand your ground for this, to be emotionally intelligent, to believe in this, uh, to fight the competition, to get above the crowd. Um, you see, that's a kind of defensive position, uh, but also it's like, I'm gonna stand up for this. That's your hope and fear. And it's coming because of, of the sense of moving toward this reciprocity, Pisces, the equal give and take. And, uh, the balance is coming. So you might have to stand your ground uh, for uh, this um, sense of balance, of um, not giving too much, not taking too much, uh, feeling like you can give out of abundance and plenty uh, and stand up for this. Uh, and the final uh, um, advice for you is um, the high priestess. Well, Pisces, that is you, the high priestess. And you're coming into your own reading with a lot of um, intuition now, 
and your psychic abilities with the moon and uh, the high priestess, you're uh, having that um, psychic abilities on steroids right now for you. And you're really hyped up um, with your dreams. And you're getting messages um, in your dreams that are important, Pisces, to pay attention to. You're getting this direct download now. It's unfiltered. It's uncontaminated. It's unprocessed. Uh, it's um, not from other people, but it's from within yourself. And that is going to lead you to this uh, queen of pentacles, uh, to this sense of nurturing uh, your life, your abundance, your beauty, your wealth. Um, and this is a, a card of Taurus energy of the earth. So uh, you have this psychic ability, uh, this deep wisdom. You might be studying the occult um, energies, that that's what you're studying in your Torah, uh, dealing with the Kabbalah, or it's really d deep, sacred, mystical uh, energies. And you're going to balance it out. Um, and it's going to be both very abundant and fortuitous for you financially with a lot of security and um, ability to maybe give to others, to be in the healing or helping profession and to nurture others' spiritual growth and uh, intuition uh, and psychic abilities. Uh, and that's what I have for my Pisces, an amazing reading. And let's dive right in with the um, one final a card from your angel oracle. What is it that you need to know? And the energy is signs and reminders. Well, you could be seeing um, butterflies, uh, rainbows, feathers, birds that are significant to let you know that you're following your signs and reminders that are going to lead to this intuitive um, unfolding and deep psychic knowing. And this is something you can do um, behind the scenes in secret uh, during the fluctuations of energies. Uh, but you stand firm on your throne of water, connected to water, and that's the Pisces realm. And uh, so it is. And uh, again, um, the high priestess will also help you uh, to notice these signs and reminders around you with uh, those synchronicities and feeling part of the interconnected field. And sending you love, Pisces. Amazing reading. And uh, I hope when this finds you, this week ahead is going to be uh, full of um, these um, deep knowing about uh, how to balance things out uh, toward uh, this love, that you have a lot of deep um, uh, understanding uh, toward. And also, it's going to bring you a lot of happiness, a wish come true. And uh, so it is, and sending you love. And thank you again for subscribing and leaving your thumbs up. And your comments mean everything, so uh, keep them coming. I appreciate each one of you. Bye-bye. Um,